It's the beginning of a long journey that's drug development. For drug discovery, we bring together scientists that are chemists, biologists, drug metabolism scientists, and together we try and find good starting points, good chemical molecules that we can optimise and turn into potentially drug candidates that could go on and be tested in humans. Because the existing treatments for Chagas and Leishmaniasis have real limitations, we want to develop a new generation of oral treatments that are simple, easy to use, and address the limitations of the existing treatments. For Chagas disease, we have just one class of drugs at the moment. Uh, so we don't have many options. It's difficult for patients to complete the course of therapy, and many of them aren't cured by taking this drug class. So we really need new treatments that will provide better efficacy and are easier for patients to take. For leishmaniasis, we have more choices, but the choices are generally injectable. They're painful, they're difficult to receive. They bring side effects and complications. So again, we really want to replace these with simple, patient-adapted treatments that can be used in the resource-poor settings where these patients live. All three organisations have a shared mission trying to develop new treatments for leishmaniasis and Chagas patients. Historically, we've worked together, so DNDI has worked with GSK, GSK has worked with Dundee, and DNDI has worked with Dundee, but not all together. We've benefited from different resources, and for example, GSK and, and Dundee have been supported by the Wellcome Trust in their efforts. And to benefit from that continuing investment and, and interest in, in working on these diseases, it's really good if DNDI and these other two partners come together because we can share our resources, our expertise, and together we can more quickly identify the best projects and move those more quickly and have more projects moving more quickly towards patients. We think this will be a real benefit and, and will reduce the redundancy and, and make better use of our resources uh, to develop new candidates for patients.